Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're talking about Anime Odyssey and the huge update that they just released. Uh, basically, they fixed all the bugs that was with the game and made it so you can basically get a lot more units a lot quicker. So as you guys can see by my units right here, I was able to get three of those. And this is because like, bro, honestly, this update was pretty good. It wasn't bad at all, honestly. So uh, we're going to, for example, check planet name uh, infinite. And we're going to go ahead and just try to get as far as we possibly can. Now, there's a couple of things that you have to know first, though. And that's that this game is honestly very early in its development stage, guys. So if you find any bugs or you find anything that's broken, you have to make sure that you understand that they're doing the best they possibly can to fix all those bugs. Uh, they want to release this game as much as you guys do. So you have to give them a little bit of patience, a little bit of time. Now, I told you guys this when Early Access first released, that the game has a bright future if they just focus up and do good okay and i told you guys when the game released on early access that this game will be better this game will be good you just have to give it some time you know just re respect the process but trust the process you know uh basically we're just gonna go ahead and just try to get as far as we can we're gonna see if we can get to the max gems which is gonna be wave 64 uh i hope they buff the gem amount uh and i feel like the gem amount should be infinitely as long as you can keep going I don't know why they don't make it like that. It's kind of lame, but it's whatever. Also, if you guys didn't watch the trailer, we're going to go ahead and also watch the trailer for the release actually in this video. So you guys can go ahead and get a little bit of a premise of like what's going on with the game and like see what you have to look forward to on release and obviously future updates, which is pretty cool. The game is uh, pretty much doing pretty good right now, though. Uh, in terms of the state of the game, uh, it's playable for sure uh do i recommend you guys buy early access right now not really i don't see the point for, of you guys to go ahead and get the game i just don't see the point of that uh you guys should just relax and just wait patiently for the game to drop because it should be any time now guys so i also got sukuna and the thing the cool thing about sukuna is that bro he's honestly really strong he's a really strong unit and he's actually getting an evo surprisingly he's getting an evo very soon that honestly might make him the best unit in the game depending on how op is like i'm gonna be completely honest i'm pretty sure it's releasing on release which is pretty cool but it's a really good unit man also guys i got godspeed on sukuna and his dps right now is actually insane but yeah uh, this is an unevil sukuna by the way doing around 900 every 2.6 seconds obviously uh the best farm in the game is gonna be my boy my boy speed cart i hope we can make it to like wave uh 64 but i think like at wave 50 we there's like a huge boss that has way too much hp like i don't even know man like that boss is like way too hard i, I don't know why they buffed the bosses so hard but they needed to like nerf it like around 1.5 to 2 times less HP for the bosses. 10,000 health and wave 10, bro. That's just crazy. But uh, because of this update, also the challenges has gotten a lot easier. So the challenges now, like you can do multiple times, which is pretty good. And also, guys, they finally fixed the flame arrow. Look at this. Look at this. That's much better than what it was, man. Because it, it used to be like this little puffy cloud. And I put it in the bug report, so I hope that they fix that because I told them to. Uh, if they did, I'm going to keep posting bugs. But, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it was definitely the right thing to do. Now, now the flame arrow looks a lot better. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, this update also made it so uh, when you press something on settings, it actually saves, which is also very good. <laughs> Because that definitely was something that also was very annoying. And they also made it so you can get past 50, guys. If you guys don't remember, like, uh, before the update, they literally made it so you could not get past 50. Because after, like, wave 50, there was, like, a millions of HP for some reason. So I'm glad they fixed that. But, okay, so the boss has over 20,000 HP. That seems a bit crazy, man. I don't know, bro. Maybe I'm just bugging. But, like, I feel like the bosses in this game just have way too much health, man. They need to kind of nerf that a little bit, bro. What is this? Bro, why is Boro so devious, bro? Look at his face. Why is Bro acting like that, bro? Sukuna real quick right over here. So you can take care of like all of this right here. And then I'm probably going to just put like the, the Sochi's right over here. If you guys didn't know, Sochi's actually the best unit in the game, guys. Uh, he's insanely good. If you guys haven't checked out my tier list, make sure you go ahead and check it out. It, it definitely gives you a little bit of a perspective of what unit you should get first. So make sure you check that out, man. Also, guys, the way you get gems is really quickly. Like, as you see, wave 23, you get 75, which is very little. But once you get to, like, wave 30, you're already at 200. Like, it, it's very much, like, three times faster, like, at certain points of the 
area which is kind of cool man so like if you make it to like wave 50 you would have like 300 maybe 400 but then just by getting like 10 more waves you'll be able to get like 200 more gems just from that which is kind of crazy and also guys now the yen amount is much much cleaner so what that means is basically that you won't have like a, a million a yen by wave 50 you will have like a decent amount uh but not as much as you would have because like if you guys remember like it used to be crazy the amount of yen you would get now it's pretty clean now it's pretty good we are literally blowing through these like the only thing that's hard is literally the bosses like everything else is extremely easy man uh we placed all of our units down we're good to go so now we're gonna go ahead and just wait a little bit more time just to go ahead and get to that wave 45 maybe and then we'll see how good we're doing Hopefully, we're still doing good, though. So, as you guys can see, uh, the boss at wave 50 is pretty insane. Uh, he absolutely cannot die. Like, I don't know. He has way too much HP, in my opinion. I mean, I have... I got Sukuna Goss Speed. I got Sochi Evo with Sniper. And I even got Goku Black, man. I mean, at some point, man, we have to understand that, bro these bosses are op man but if we can get past this right here we'll be good to go i think we'll be good to go for like 65 hopefully dude i think we got it i think we did it i think sochi's like dps wise is like actually insane bro 1000 a second is just insane damage especially when it when it's full aoe man it's just insane but uh sukuna is definitely like one of my favorite units in the game though so i can't wait for his evo man i feel like sukuna's evo is about to be so overpowered man i can't wait so as you guys can see uh the boss out wave 60 is actually stupidly broken nothing else to say except wow <laughs> but uh yeah i mean this, this boss is really strong i feel like it definitely needs like around i think it needs a like, two times nerf in health but other than that it's pretty hard boss i don't know why they did it like this but i hope they change it for release with that being said though i see we're back at 555 so you know this all happened in one update this update really saved me guys i'm gonna be honest this update definitely saved me all right guys let's go ahead and check out this beautiful trailer okay so this is gonna be the trailer the official trailer for anime odyssey now this is gonna be basically the release and what's gonna be looking like and how hyped you're gonna be for it let's check it out and see how well they did on this trailer uh, we're gonna actually just delete the audio and just go ahead and go without it just to check out every visual effects and stuff so as you guys see they got oh okay a uh, new unit okay we got king curses so they got a new story mode guys uh i see ichigo is going to be added to the game that's pretty cool uh they got rock lee okay that's pretty fire okay the vfx are looking pretty clean not bad uh what else they got they got meli otis oh that's gonna be fire that's gonna be fire they got naruto okay okay who else they got man who else they got let's see oh they got pain oh they, they actually got the pain one man they actually got the pain that's sick uh they got the bleach unit uh, i don't know who this is but uh looks pretty cool the vfx look really nice okay another vfx they got a fire okay that looks honestly not bad not bad and then we have this okay cosmic goru man cosmic goru okay so they're gonna have a one punch man secret unit which i'm guessing this is it uh not sure where you're gonna be able to get the unit but i really hope it's from portals that's gonna be insane grind it's gonna be very fun and hey man this release got me pretty hype man this release got me pretty hype uh the, the last thing that this update brought out though it's not even just that you can do challenge like four times in one 30 minute mark so like for example if there was like random fruits you would be able to do challenges like three to four times if you were fast which is pretty cool because you, you can do triple the amount that you would normally be able to do so make sure you guys take advantage of that before it gets nerfed because i feel like it's gonna get nerfed since it's way too broken for some things like for example random fruits or even rainbow stars so definitely take advantage of it while you can uh, again guys you guys keep saying that this game is a delay delay you know of anime vanguards 2.0 but anime vanguards has been lying to you guys for like what three months now this game literally just needed an extra week to fix all the bugs if that's too much for you to handle then don't ever speak to me about anime vanguards again okay guys but with that being said i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found this video really helpful in terms of understanding what the update brought and if you guys didn't know about the update and let me know man let me know what you like about the update or just the game in general and i'll see you guys on release peace out man